This will hurt! All I see is blackness. Our time has come. Forwards! Enemy near. My wounds pile on! Time's not waiting. Let's hear you cry! I lead. You follow. I am superior! vergessen, aber das ist gar kein Thema. Ich muss kurz warten. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori Swordlord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Alles klar. 
Where are they? This is taking forever! It didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restov would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Mm. Good stack, Lord. <laughs> so, there's a whole team of us who exactly will receive the Burns title. Wanna just recognize the stack lord as Baron? You're helping us found a barony? What do you gain from such generosity? I <sighs> would bring what's going to expect exactly. It's clear as day. <coughs> hmm. Mm, I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title, when we'll most likely lose our lives there. <laughs> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. <laughs> Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet, Go and return in triumph. Hi, my name 
My name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my a first bard. real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. Yeah, when I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. Alright, I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Help! Help! Yes. The mansion's under attack. We need to help. How so? Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. 
Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. Attacke. Ich war doch gerade eben, war sie doch noch da.
doch schon mal praktisch. So. Scan B ist immer die Medikpunkt. Activate right click its icon on the active panel. Run them through! Aha! So läuft es. Just in time. A bit longer and I'd have been... I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound and unscathed. Ready to lead you to victory. Lady Jamal is holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen lands. Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Uh, I Companions, alles klar. Uh, companions, the party in the All this waiting bores me. Let's move already. No one stands in my way. Let's hear Can you cry!
I won't be halted. Strike you down. Blood for Gorum! Barbarians. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What, stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. Check. Go. 
got it. <laughs> I'm losing my temper. You're but a footnote in our story. <laughs> this is not the end. Tough. Out of our story. Yes, yes. 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 Everyone is mortal in this world, especially when I am around. Battles await. Let's move already.
So. so What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard's salaries, all things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. A lot. Take a look. Are you out of your minds? We're in the middle of a battle. Blood flowing in rivers as an army of assassins chases us. And you want us to rob our host? A noble feat, to be sure. No one stands in my way. Inventory is all. Der bringt kaum Gold. Ist immer schwer wie Hölle. So, das Schild ebenso weg damit. So this is... Oh, familiar faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathol. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. 
And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like zombies or skeletons or...? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. Alles klar. I will grant your request. Temper. Request. How curious. That is possible. Me? Spells not working like that. Out of my way!
do it my way. Just letting the ink dry. Lindsay the Magnificent? Lindsay the Illustrious? State your desire. Something more simple, like Lindsay the Great? <sighs> Maybe Lindsay the Indecisive. You have my attention. Battles await. Share your will. Waiting for spells not working like that. Let's hear you cry. Ask. Oh. Subscribe. I always have a second plan. Magic missile. Request. No one stands in my way. You cannot stand against me. State your desire. You have my attention. This can't be over. I'm losing my temper.
Muss sie auch rundtot sein? Ja, da hat sie ein Pech. Anything is possible. Request. I wrote it like I saw it. State your desire. I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. That's impossible. <coughs> oh, it uh, <laughs> It seems you might be right. Oh, God. Yeah. <coughs> it, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my God. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Arim is at your service. Stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Keston, House Garess, a fighter in the service of Sword Lord Jamandi Algori. 
Right now, I'm in charge of the mansion guards. As you can see, there's a lot to do. Someone opened the gate, let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. May Abadar keep you safe. started earlier and much more tragic than we'd expected. The whole team who had gathered in the hall yesterday had been reduced to but an handful of brave souls, led by Dafka's steel farmer, and not at all by that scoundrel Tatuccio, no matter what he might have imagined of himself. Jamandi Aldori was waiting for us, but to get to her we'd have to march through fire. Literally, as we approached the burning building, we, so on the summits, drenched ourselves with buckets of water, tried to find the less dangerous passage, covered our noses and mud before we rushed inside. Oh, we need to escape us up. That's right. Prudence is the key to victory. Before moving through the fire, we thoroughly wet our clothes and hair. After that, we tried to find a less dangerous passage, covered our noses and mouths before we rushed inside. Oh, we it was a good thing we hadn't wasted any time. After entering the building and taking just a few steps forward, the wall behind us landed and crashed down with a terrible crackling sound, blocking the way back. While we may not have planned on going back if we'd had come in a little half later, the flaming logs and red hot bricks would have fallen right on our heads. Regardless, we were left with only one way to go. The hot air burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke, but Dafka steel farmer led us stubbornly through the flames. Wild her to shoot nothing useful at all. We made it to the hallway leading to the banquet hall when we heard someone calling for us. It was Valerie, one of the guards I chatted with a bit in the banquet hall. Even then, in the calm setting, I'd been stunned by her beauty. But now, amid the smoke and flames, she looked like a celestial avenger. An armored deity, menacing but beautiful and merciful, descending from the highest spheres to help us poor mortals. She held a burnt, barely living god in her arms. There are two more, she shouted and she passed us by us. They are wounded, help me pull them out! She grumbled something about how Jamandi was waiting for us, meanwhile that Castillo armor. So... The athletics, so the diplomacy. Ah, come here, I'm so few decks. Succeeded! Saving the poor fellows didn't take long. Together, we lifted them up and carried them away from the fire. Only then did Valerie pause to catch her breath and wipe the sweat from her face. Thank you. That was truly noble of you, she said, and now let's uh, let us rush to Lady Eldori's aid. Ensuring the gods would we'd rescue were relatively safe, we made our way to the hall, where the battle was already full swing. One of our characters one of the negative conditions that can affect Krasser Scheiß, was ich hier so erlebe. Und los. Ja, 
nehmen wir es doch mit. Wir sind da nicht. Ich bin gerade Lagplatz unterwegs. Und finden vielleicht noch eine mächtige Verknüpfe. So. I'm still here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. <clears throat> What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. Probably, yes. But this evidence is circumstantial at best. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook on the other hand. He's got the eyes of a spy, and the mug of a spy! Lady Eldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. And not just that. Upon finding the guard's salaries in the armory, he immediately pocketed it all. So soon. I see you don't scare easily. You'll do well in the Stolen Lands. But I'm going to have to ask you to return the money. Of course, theft is not to be condoned. But when the fire burns around you, and you are but one step away from death, would it not be insane to worry about laws and rules? I see this not as a crime, but as a unique wisdom visiting us as we stood at the face of oblivion. There is a difference between initiative taken in battle and blatant arrogation. How can someone who disregards authorities be a leader himself? Blah, blah, blah. What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? Oh, the trick? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. <clears throat> You're talking about living people, not pawns on a game board. No. It was perfectly reasonable, just the way a leader should think. Yeah, that's good. How could you say such a monstrous thing? Is that the way the hero of my book would talk? You sound more like a villain. <laughs> Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the Stolen Lands. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If Tartuccio allows, I would join his team. Forgive me, but I don't appreciate your willfulness. And I like our leader. 
What wisdom lies in minding orders, laws, and rules in the face of oblivion, knowing not whether you'll be alive tomorrow? I will go with his team. I like how our leader does things. Efficient, and without unnecessary spiritual agonizing. I'll go with him. Efficient? I'd say heartless. Would the protagonist of my book do such a thing? No. I guess I'd better go with Tartuccio. Bitch! I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spine guts from the trees. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactas Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. Oleg. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. Yeah, yeah. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plan. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restolf. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Victorious. Ja, cool. Ja, spielt sich schon, schon richtig gut. Wie wird sie denn unser Buch schreiben, wenn die gar nicht dabei ist? Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. Okay, uh,
hungry. When we stop. I'm hungry. When we stop. I won't be halted. I always survive.
We do it my way. Does it matter? Zuschauen, danke für den Sub und dann sehen wir uns zehn Tage wieder. Bis dann.